Olympics. Uh, five members of the U.S. women's soccer team are suing. They say they're not paid the same as the men. Even though last year was the World, the, uh, World Cup uh, game brought in 25 million viewers, that's a record for a soccer game, and a whole lot of revenue came into the women's side of the sport. Brianna Scurry is with us, retired goalkeeper for the team. Brianna, great to see you. Welcome to the show. Great to see you. Good morning. How are you? Let me state, I'm in very good shape. <laughs> it's Friday morning. <laughs> okay. let, me, let me state my position, Brianna. I say, you bring in the revenue, you get the same pay as the guys. You are bringing in the revenue, I'm on your side. What do you say? I, I agree. Yeah. I love that point of view. I agree. Here's <laughs> the thing. Um, the interesting thing about this lawsuit right now is that U.S. soccer... Um, when the time when I was playing, we have always had to fight with them for better pay and better conditions and, and more, more things for the women's side. And their argument has always been that you don't bring in the revenue. Yep. With these new numbers, um, it's clear to see now that the women do in fact bring in the revenue. And also, if you look at those stats, uh, their fiscal year 2017 showing the women going to make between six to eight million dollars more than the men in their fiscal seven, um, 2017. So that's very interesting. So I, I completely agree with the fact that they are now moving forward to try to get equal pay. If you win, if the, the five members of the team, if they win, they're looking for back pay. Uh, now, does that change the argument? I mean, because now you're reaching into the past and saying, hey, you owe me, and you, they would be owed a great deal of money. Would you join the suit? Would you join the complaint? <laughs> At that point. <laughs> I don't know if uh, it goes back that far <laughs> that I could get in there. Um, that's interesting. But uh, no, I, I understand it. I get it. I think also what they're trying to do with this suit is to get the information that they have been unable to get from U.S. soccer and right. Soccer United marketing in the past with regards to marketing on the commercial rights and TV money because the way they do it now is they bundle it all together with the men and the women and they haven't been able to see if a marketing dollar that goes to the men is also an equal marketing dollar that goes to the women. That's another thing they want to see from this lawsuit. Look, as, as a guy who was born and raised in England, I'm obviously a soccer fan, but what <laughs> I see developing in the world of soccer is that the women, American women, best in the world uh, by we a pretty are. long way. You're, you're yes. nodding. You, you agree with me again, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, this is a fantastic interview. I couldn't agree more. Yeah, we've been, we've been winning things for a very long time, since 1991, and we continue to do so, so I couldn't agree more. <laughs> yes, you do. I hope you're doing well in the soccer world. I know you've, you've left the team. I think you've retired, aren't you? You retired? I, I am retired, and uh, unfortunately, my career ended in soccer with, uh, with a head injury, a concussion. Yeah. And now I'm a concussion advocate, and I also go around the country talking to different businesses and universities about my journey, sure. um, leadership, and things like that. Look, nature you now, come so. on this show anytime you like, because we're in such tight <laughs> agreement. And we, like <laughs> we are. I will come on anytime you like, and I love this. is the best interview yet with you, so thank you so much for having me. <laughs> Great stuff. Brianna Scurry, thanks for joining us. We'll see you thank soon. Thank you. Thank you. All right.